Welcome to February Astrology for Scorpio. And Scorpio, the theme for you this month is about your retreating within, going within, feeling comfortable, doing things at your home, figuring out how you want your living circumstance to be, communication, and friendship. So you have these three areas of life that are being highlighted. There's a possibility, there's an energy where the universe is saying, hey, is there a way you can transform your communication where you can get through to others more, you might feel more understood, or, uh, or that there is more of a sense of intimacy through communication. That's very strong theme this year. Intimacy, connection through communication. Whether it is somebody that you work with and you need you know, this really direct, I need you to understand where I'm coming from, whether it's a lover, and it's intimacy in a different way, um, but it's through communication. Powerful vibration for that. There's also a lot about understanding yourself and why you act or why you behave or why you uh, respond the way you do because of early memories or early things that happen to you where you form, you know, you form kind of like your way of being or your way of defending yourself from certain situations. So there's a lot of memories that can pop up of like, oh, so that's why, that's why that gets to me, or that's why I feel so defensive, or that's why I feel that I need to, whatever it is, when a situation occurs. So a lot of self-analysis that can happen this month. This is especially true for those of you who were born between November 10th and November 15th as Mars is in Scorpio, as you know, and you may feel November 10th to 15th may feel a little bit more of that irritation and therefore it's like why am I responding? Why is this bothering me? Why is this going on for me? It also is a time of just being able to step out and put more effort and energy into any project that you have, anything that you want to do, anything that you want to accomplish. So it is a get up and go energy. Now, the new moon is on the 8th of February. So, and that's happening at home, that psychology, that, that sense of self-analysis that can come up. But it also represents that you may want to, you know, bring people that you, your friends, close friends, um, to your place. Let's gather together, you know, come to my house, I can do this, we can do that. And that then there's a vibration that is, well, what it is is that Mercury will cross its shadow on the 13th, and whatever you've been re rethinking or, you know, going over, maybe I can do this, maybe this, maybe that, different ideas, then, and if you put out communication, you could start to feel things coming back, uh, communication responses coming back to you from the middle of February on. When the sun shifts into Pisces, that which is on the 19th, so the 19th, 20th, Mars is your ruling planet. Pluto is, you know, the, a modern ruler, but you always need to look at Mars. Traditional ruler, it's very strong. Since it's in your sign, in the sign it rules, there is on the 19th, when the sun goes into Pisces, and then on the 21st, Mars will cross its shadow, because Mars is going to go retrograde this year. So this is a very intuitive time for you. If you just can take five or ten minutes to go into meditation and listen to your intuition around that time, you will get uh, like this psychic hit of what to expect for the upcoming Mars retrograde that will happen in mid-April through the end of May. And what you will be, you know, kind of like what you're meant to be working on or what you can be mo most beneficial for you to work on and go over and do. 
So just you just take a, a few minutes for that because it's a powerful, it can be a very powerful day for you. And it's also the energy that day is extremely uh, fortuitous for psychic development, intuition, connecting with the other side, all that that deep energy. It's very emotional too, you know, very, very um, feeling oriented where you can get in touch with the core listening to your heart, listening to the core of what what your soul, your higher self is wanting, you know, or wanting or requesting for you to do. Now, there's also on the 22nd, the full moon, and the full moon is highlighting a part of your chart that represents connecting with friends. Connecting, but f- friends, and part of it is just an ease, an ease of friendship. You know, it's like, okay, I don't feel that there's a tug of war. I don't feel they do what I, you know, we, we serve each other in a comfortable way. Our friendship is mm, with ease. It's, it's reciprocal. And there also could be something that comes up around the 22nd, the 23rd, where you feel that you're going to either ask a friend for help, hey, can you help me do this? Or that you could be as, or you could be helping a friend out. So there's this mutual help energy around that time. If you were born, if you're a Scorpio and you were born around October 27th or October 28th, there's an opportunity energy for you this month, but the opportunity is easy to pass by. It's opportunity for something that can take you to your larger vision in life, you know, a, a larger dream that you have. But the opportunity would be very easy to miss because it's some work is involved in it. But again, because there's this depth of understanding yourself, self-analysis, and intuition very strong this month. If you connect with that intuitive side, you will be able to see the opportunity for what it is, even though it will take effort. And as I mentioned before, those who are born between the 10th and the 15th, there's that Mars will be crossing over your sun sign at one point during the month, which is inspiring you to take on a new project, to say, no, this is my life, I'm going to do it my way, get out of the way. So have a really great February, and please subscribe so you can find me at another time. Thanks.